where we are able to use the entire um, uh, soccer field, or at least as much as we need, and uh, and not have the drive through. And so, you know, Hope Day is uh, is just an opportunity to connect with people in our in our neighborhood and to and to be a blessing and to uh, to put, like I said, put Christ on display. So, um, I wanted to go over a few things, and I wanted to uh, offer a time of. Uh, for questions, if people have questions after I've kind of given the the uh, the structure of the day, some of you have done this many times, and some of you are really uh, you know you you've you've heard about it, but you've not you've not been able to to participate, and um, or or you know this maybe this is all new to you. I don't know, but whatever the case, I am thankful for your willingness to volunteer. And uh, I want to be able to answer any questions so that we can be able to rock and roll uh, when it comes time to, you know, um, when we get to Saturday morning. So I'm going to share my screen. Y'all able to see that? Yeah. Okay. And do you see a bunch of slides, or do you see uh, you see one slide? Just the one. Okay, so I've set it up right. Hey, <laughs> that's good. Um, although I'm not sure how I advance it. There we go. All right. Well, uh, let's let's begin with uh, with a word of prayer. And um, uh, I really want to encourage you to be praying over these, these last few days before uh, the event. We've been encouraging you to pray as we go along, but uh, ramp that up as we go into the weekend. Uh, the weather is supposed to be uh, very nice, and I appreciate I'm, I'm excited about that. I, I put in my, uh, my request to the Lord a long time ago. Uh, but it, you know, we, we need uh, we need good weather uh, for to maximize the event, and uh, there are lots of lots of loose ends to tie up. There are some remaining volunteers to make sure they're clear on what they're doing. Maybe that includes some of you, uh, and that's okay. Um, I love the fact that we have four different churches coming together to, to work to 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 work in tandem. And uh, I think it's a, a demonstration of the unity that we have in Christ, uh, even though we don't even all, you know, primarily speak the same language or we have different cultural backgrounds or we have different whatever, we're able to come together and, um, and, and serve and, um, like I said, put, put Christ on display. So let me open with prayer, and then I'm going to take you through some things and uh, give you the lay of the land, so to speak. And then I am hoping that we are done, done uh, within an hour. And so if, if we have questions that might, you know, make things a little longer, but, but that's up to you. Uh, I don't, I don't want to go on and on. Um, but. So let me, let me open with prayer. Heavenly Father, we thank you for tonight. I thank you for uh, these, these, uh, these volunteers who are eager to serve and uh, are are willing to give their time and uh, and put some effort into uh, getting out there into into our community. I, I ask that you would bless each one, that you would use each one, that you would fit us for service uh, to uh, to come in contact and to care for uh, people uh, in that that uh, that need a bit of encouragement that need a bit of uh, whether it's resources or uh, some uh, wh whatever it is, that we'd be able to provide something tangible, something um, uh, even on the spiritual side, and that we'd be able to, to be a blessing to them. Uh, we ask that you would uh, prepare our hearts to serve, prepare their hearts to receive, uh, prepare the ground that we're going to be serving on, that, uh, that the, the different 
elements of uh, you know the the trucks that need to come and and uh, unload and uh, vendors that need or uh, the the different people the different uh, uh, outside people that are going to be um, setting up rented equipment or whatever it is that this would just run smoothly and uh, run well and uh, Lord I pray that you would be glorified from the small detail to the the person who uh, who who wants to pray and 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 seek you and and renew uh, maybe some some um, uh, relationship with you Lord Wh whatever it is um, mundane or or uh, just very physical to uh, to something that's uh, uh, that's spiritual I pray that that we wouldn't separate those that we would see this as a, as a whole process and that we would uh, see that we are all working together to accomplish uh, the goal of, uh, of, of giving, uh, pointing, pointing to the hope that we have in Christ. So, uh, so be with us tonight and uh, be with us this week and especially be with us on Saturday and beyond. In Jesus name, amen. <clears throat> all right. So, um, here we are. I want to share a, a, a couple verses. I, I shared this with uh, New Hope Church a couple weeks ago. It, these verses come back to me frequently when we talk about Hope Day. Uh, it, when Jesus talks about the sheep and the goats, and he talks about, um, you know, at, at the end, uh, just some sense of, of, uh, sorting and and uh, that that God is gonna that, that God cares about what we do now and how we treat each other now and how we re and really how we represent him and how we relate uh, uh, so in in Matthew 25 and this is kind of shortened because it's it's said really twice here uh, you can you can look it up in, in Matthew 25 it says the king will say to those on his right, Come, you who are blessed by my father, inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the creation of the world. For I was hungry and you fed me. I was thirsty and you gave me a drink. I was a stranger and you invited me into your home. I was naked and you gave me clothing. I was sick and you cared for me. I was in prison and you visited me. And the king will say, I tell you the truth. When you did it to one of the least of these, my brothers and sisters, you were doing it to me. And so there is a sense of, as we relate to other people made in the image of God, that, uh, that as we serve, as we, as we seek to, to meet some needs, uh, there is a sense of um, Jesus uh, being in the midst and, uh, that, that he cares about that. And so that's, that's not, uh, about salvation so much as, as just the sign of what Christians do. Okay. And so now we have people, uh, who are going to be volunteering who, some of whom are not Christians and, and that's okay. It, but, but for the most part, as we come together as these churches, we are doing this because we feel Christ calling us to uh, to do these things, to serve, to bless, to come alongside, to uh, to provide, and to um, and to care. And so um, that's that's sort of. Um, uh, a bit of a of a spiritual rationale, so to speak, as we you know proceed through this um, through this event, and so um, we just want to we want uh, uh, Christ to be uh, pleased. We want Christ to be honored. We want Christ to be uh, to be like yes, that's that's what I like to see my people doing. Okay, and so um, we are going to be 
going to a soccer field right next to Bowling Green Elementary School. Some of you have already been there. Some of you have served right there. Um, but it's right along Stewart Avenue, um, just, uh, just west of uh, Carmen Avenue. And, um, and what we are going to do is set up <clears throat> um, several different stations where we're going to minister. And so um, some of you have an idea of what you're doing. I want to give you for just a couple minutes some guidelines or some instructions for all of our general volunteers. Um, and uh, and just want to encourage you to take this to heart and take this with you as as we serve and as we uh, as we minister. So um, so the first thing that I that I will uh, bring up is as you are serving and as you are working in your your little area, your your corner of Hope Day, I want to encourage you to observe what we call the guest of honor principle. And our goal is that everyone who comes to Hope Day is valued, is respected, is treated with honor. They are a guest of honor. And that means unconditionally accepting them, loving them, serving them, regardless of uh, you know, what, what their state is, whatever, you know, age, religion, race, uh, appearance, whatever it is, uh, what, you know, it, whatever their spiritual condition, whatever it is, our opportunity is to look at them and to relate with them as pay, people made in the image of God. And, um, and that comes, that goes right back to Genesis, uh, the early parts of Genesis that God has made us in his image, and we are image bearers. And what sin does is it sort of mars and it twists that. But, but we are all made in the image of God, and there's a dignity and there's a respect due because of that, that, that often in our world gets, gets kind of pushed off to the side. So uh, in a sense, Hope Day is an opportunity to Bring that to the front and say, I, I, I just want to I want to uh, care for people uh, and, and show kindness and compassion and um, and and mercy. Um, so and 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 essentially uh, display the, the love of Christ. So um, that's that's the first thing I was able. I believe this is happening. Uh, someone has a red carpet that we are going to be able to unfurl as our guests come into the into uh, uh, our space. And so I'm excited about that and uh, just kind of setting the tone that uh, that these are our guests. OK, so uh, a couple of logistical things I want to hit before we go over the map, um, the 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 fact is some of you have children that, listen, I have exposed my kids to ministry. I have invited them into participating in ministry, and that's a good thing, okay? Uh, what, we've, what we've agreed is that uh, children under 10 are probably going to have a hard time focusing and participating. Uh, if, if kids are, are 10, 11, 12, they can serve as long as they are with their parent uh, or with a guardian, <clears throat> and they need to stick with them. So what we don't want to do, and this is important, <laughs> this has happened. We don't want uh, people to drop their kids off in the kid zone and say, oh, okay, now my kid can play while I serve, which there's a bit of logic to that, but that's not really how we do Hope Day, okay? So uh, volunteers who are 13 to 17 may work in, uh, in an area apart from their parents, in an area that they choose, just let me know, and we'll get them uh, set up, and, um, and that's great. So now there is a, a waiver uh, as it relates to that, some paperwork that I, can, uh, that I can post and send out to you like I did these, uh, these guidelines. The, the 
The next thing is um, dress. We're going to give you a T-shirt at the command center. If you'll check in, please check in at the at the command center when you arrive. And uh, I want to encourage you. It's supposed to be if if Apple is to be believed, it's supposed to be 77 degrees on Saturday, and nice. Uh, we'll we'll see what happens. Um, <clears throat> sometimes it's really hot. Uh, it isn't usually cold in June. So, uh, but we do ask that, you know, volunteers dress, you know, dress modestly and wear, wear clothing that can allow you to roll up your sleeves and, uh, and, pu and put your back into it. Okay. Serving, uh, it kind of has that element where, you know, if, if we're tired at the end of it, that's, we, we probably, we probably were doing it right. <laughs> so, uh, put on some comfortable shoes. Uh, wear some some clothes where you can where you can move a little bit and uh, you might you might sweat. Uh, that's okay. And um, so be prepared that way. Parking. Um, please don't park right in front of the space. We actually are going to block off part of it for fire trucks who are going to be out there in front. Um, it's a good idea if you can park on one of the side streets, you can park down Stewart Avenue a, a, a bit, um, kind of get away from the event and walk a little bit. That's what I would encourage you to do. Um, even if you can get a primo spot in front, we all like that. I love that, but, but don't take it. And let's, let's let our guests have a place to park. Um, so. The next thing is <clears throat> the duration of the event. Um, I want to encourage, the, we're, we're going to have a volunteer orientation meeting at 11 o'clock where I'm going to go over uh, some of the game plan again, make sure everyone's clear on what we're doing and why we're doing and all this, I answer any questions people have or whatever, and they'll be able to see it. You really take shape, okay? Uh, the, the, what happens is 11 o'clock, we have that meeting. And if people are rolling in at like 10 after 11, it creates a bit of chaos. It creates a bit of, oh, I'm not really ready to serve. Okay. So what we're asking is for the setup crew, if you're part of the setup crew and you're willing to help us set up tents and, and tables and, and fences and all that good stuff, uh, that, that happens at nine o'clock. Boots hit the ground nine o'clock, maybe even uh, a little bit before that, but we really get to work at nine. Okay. Uh, team leads, I really need you to be there at 10 o'clock. Feel free to come earlier if you want, just to kind of get a sense of your space. And then uh, our general volunteers, you know, people who are like, I'm part of, you know, ministering with the shoe area or the kid zone or, or clothing or whatever it is. Um, show up at 1030 and, uh, you know, you're going to check in at, at command center. You're going to, uh, you, you, you're going to, it's going to take you a minute. It's going to take you a minute to kind of get, get oriented. And then we're going to have that meeting. And so, uh, it, but, but if you roll in at 1110, it's, it's going to be, um, it's going to be asking a lot. It's going to be a little confusing. Um, I haven't really stopped to, to ask if there are questions. I, I would encourage you to use the chat because it does seem to be working. And uh, if you have a question, just type it in the chat. Um, and yeah, we'll go from there. Oh, what happened here? There we go. Now, it it is important that for this to work well, we're asking that volunteers stay with your area of service for the doing essentially the same task, the same area of service for the for the day. Okay. What happens is we come at you know we have that orientation at eleven. We uh, we have a we're going to provide lunch. We're going to we're going to bring the lunch to you. You're going to you know have an opportunity to eat uh, hopefully before twelve o'clock, and then you know the the rope drops at twelve and our guests come in, and and we want to 
uh, we want to get her done. We want to serve. We want to uh, be able to focus on that. And if you go off looking for lunch, or if you go off and say, well, okay, I've been able to work with clothing for a little bit, but now I want to work on the kid zone. What that does is it, is it kind of disrupts the flow of, of what we're, of what we're doing. And it, and it can sometimes cause a pinch um, in, uh, it can cause a pinch in the flow of, of the event, okay? And so if you're going from station to station, it's gonna get confusing. Now, if you're in shoes and you give away all the shoes and the shoe area packs up, which does happen every year, um, that's great. Yay. We've been able to, you know, I, I hear that we have almost, uh, it's almost 400 pairs of shoes, about 370 pairs of shoes that we're going to be able to put in the hands of people, put on the feet of people who need them. And so, and that will happen faster than you think. And let's say shoes uh, closes up early. And then if you want to help in another area, then knock yourself out. You can check with the command center or check with another area and say, do you need additional help? But don't just wander off into that other area, okay? So do let's let's devote to the same uh, same task, same area of service for the day. And we typically, by the way, we typically run Hope Day from twelve until four. I mean, we've rented equipment, we have a video game truck, we have we have inflatables and a photo booth, and we have you know, equipment that we rented from 12 until four. Um, we're going to run Hope Day from 12 until four, unless we run out of groceries and shoes and clothing. And if we run out of some of the key things, I don't want to just have the event because the, the inflatables are, are still working. We, there have been times we've, we've ended a little early if uh, if if guests are leaving or if there's just you know we've kind of accomplished some of our task, then uh, then we we don't necessarily go up until four you know just just for that. So, um, I see a question: What does guest services entail? Guest services is cel is welcoming people, orienting people you know, greeting them. And it's a bit, oh, it's a bit of an, of an opportunity to, uh, well, I mean, on the one hand, we're, we, we count them, we, we give them a guest services uh, handout that sort of gives them a map and, and uh, gives them some, some indication of uh, who's, who's throwing this party and why. And, um, uh, but, but also is the opportunity to welcome them in. And so that's guest services uh, you're able, you're able to, to do that. So, uh, communication, wherever you, where, whatever zone of ministry, whatever area of ministry where you find yourself, uh, if you have questions, I want to encourage you to direct them to your team leader. Okay. We have team leads for each of the areas of service. If you have questions, go to the team lead if they have questions, because sometimes there are questions that, oh, this is new. This is something we haven't, you know, I haven't dealt with before. They can go to the command center. They can find uh, the coordinators and, and, and then let that, uh, let that, you know, um, go from there. So, um, but first, first uh, go to your team lead and, um, and then go up to the, to the site coordinator. Let's see. I have a question. About... Let's see. Andrea, I see you on here. I've kind of been going through these, and I want to invite you to jump in at, at whatever point. Um, maybe it's whether it's answering, answering questions or, or, uh, um, providing some, uh, some, some, uh, help orienting people. Um, Andrea and, uh, Christabel have been coordinating, uh, Hope Day for us for years and they do a great job and, um, and I appreciate, uh, I appreciate them. Um, 
I don't know. I don't see Chris. Did I see Christabel? Yes, Christabel there too. Good. All right. So, ladies, if you want to jump in, you in some cases uh, you might um, you might uh, have more up to date stuff than I do as it relates to uh, some of the questions. Okay. Um, all right. Real quick, first aid is going to be at the. Uh, Oh, I put provided at the command center. It's really, it's really going to be provided at the at health services. I'm sorry, that's a that is a an error. It's not at the command center. It's at health services. But command center and health services are very close to each other. So sorry about that. Bit of information. People have asked us uh, what happens if it rain. If, what's the rain date? The rain. I'll give you the rain date. June four. Um. It's, it's not going to rain, I don't believe. It's not supposed to rain. Uh, but even times that it, it was, rain was called for, uh, God has been so gracious to us. And how I generally uh, explain it is, is you know, I, I talk to the Lord about this and say, Lord, we're throwing this party because we believe you want us to do this for this community. And this is just an opportunity for us to, to do this in your name, to do this uh, that we're throwing this party for you, and so um, you know, join us, and 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 um, uh, we want to we want to do this uh, for you. So you you make you make whatever uh, of the day that that you want to, Lord, and uh, and we'll we'll follow along. Um, so you know, the, if if it rains, we're going to. What would happen if it rains is not as many people would come out, but there would still be people coming out. Uh, and so if it rains, don't, don't, don't presume that we're not, that we're not meeting, just be, be prepared to get a little wet. Okay. Uh, Ann, you have a question? I'm sorry, Pastor. Yeah. Are we supposed to be seeing different things on the screen? Cause when you mentioned that there was a change, we still have the, the general, when I'm not seeing a change in the screen, are we supposed to? Yes. You're supposed to see other. No, I'm not. No. Huh. Well, that's not good. You don't you don't have the uh, these slides. Do you have the map now? No, I have Welcome to Hope Day 2022 General Volunteer Training. Oh, now I have it. Oh, there it is. Well, it looks like uh, PowerPoint has not served me well. Sorry. Thank you for bringing that up, Anne. OK. Uh, let me see if I can do, can you see it now? Yes. I had all these nifty slides, Ann. You see these? Okay, yes. Yeah. Maybe it's a vision test for you, depending <laughs> on your screen. No, now they're there. Yeah, now they're there. I'm putting them up uh, because if it, this is, since this is being recorded, um people can uh can pause it and look but this this these are the guidelines i sent to everyone uh via email i wanted to flesh them out a little bit so this is our site with uh the general layout of you know where the ministry areas are so do you see the kid zone here? Mm -hmm. That's kind of the biggest area. Um, guests are going to line up. Believe it or not, some of the guests might beat you to the site. <laughs> That's why we need to put the fence up early is to uh, is that people show up sometimes 10, 1030 um, because they want their place in line. And so there is a fence that goes along here and then a gate that goes across here. We are going to run construction fencing along here. There'll be a small break for the entrance and we're gonna run it. There'll be a small break for the exit and then it's going to go across the field. And then there's already chain link fence on uh, two and a half sides 
So what that does is it sort of uh, it, it it closes us in so that uh, people aren't just coming in from every direction or whatever. So when as they come in, uh, someone asked about the you know uh, about guest services. The idea is to greet them big, greet them in in a, in a very uh, big way, and um, and to welcome them into uh, into. You know, we're not going, we're not inviting them into our homes, but we are inviting them into our community, okay? And, and so, um, yes. Um, Pastor Dan, this is Andrea. Hi, everybody. Hey, Andrea. I just want to point out that the layout is really important. Um, people come in through one entrance and they leave through one exit. So it's just important for all of us to know that the flow of traffic through like it kind of starts with kids zone and greeting there and it comes through all of the other areas and it ends with connections and groceries because we really want to make sure that we get that opportunity to connect with them at the end and that we follow this flow so that all of our guests get that opportunity to come through greeting you know we get that opportunity to give them big smiles execute the guest of honor principle and at the end they come out through connections so we get that opportunity again to connect with them yep yep and so, uh, so people will be greeted, and um, they'll receive a little, uh, little welcome uh, uh, handout, and then that's going to have a a general map of the uh, of of the our space, so that they can figure out uh, where do they want to go. I mean, it's not exactly uh, Disney World, but it's you know there's it, it is helpful to have a little uh, a little map and a little lay of the land. Um, so. Andrea, you brought up the kid zone. We have another fence within the fence uh, for kid zone, really for security. We're, we're asking that families come in or whoever comes in, stay with their kid. Again, this is not daycare. This is not, you know, drop your kid off and come back in two hours. Um, we are, we have lots of, I, we have lots of equipment coming. I have a snow cone machine. I've got a 60 foot space adventure obstacle course. I've got a photo booth, um, basketball all-star game. And, uh, you know, and there's a, uh, there's a combo bounce house. Uh, so there, there's gonna be a lot of activity going on in that kid zone. Um, Gina, you have a number of, um, of carnival games and prizes and that sort of thing as well, right? So I, I think that's that there's going to be a lot happening there. This is just a, a a great way for the kids. You know, all this is free. Every part of Hope Day is free. And uh, you know, when when uh, when we talk about, um, I don't know. I, I I just I just got back from Disney World, which was which was nuts. It was you know everything costs so much, and there's they got fees on top of fees, and and it's just it's wild, um, but and and even when you go to a street fair and and the kids want to go down a slide, it costs how much? And and uh, you know, the mom goes, eh, you know, I, okay, you can go once or whatever. In the kids zone, they can just play and play and play and play, and mom's just able to say, sure, have a snow cone, uh, you know, go to the photo booth, whatever, you know. And so it's it's. Um, uh, it's just a great place for for kids to to enjoy themselves and uh, and for mom and dad to be able to say sure go ahead. Um, so, but we do we do ask that uh, that the people that you know if I if I if if someone comes in with two kids that they leave with the same two kids we do have uh, you know desire for that that seems like a good baseline. Um, baseline thing as it relates to that. Uh, you'll see this P right here for porta potty. We have three porta potties that are going to be delivered um, and available for our use. They will be pristine when they arrive, hopefully uh, kept in that sort of uh, pristine uh, state by, by some of our uh, logistics team. But uh, basically, we have three porta potties available to, to folks. Uh, including you. Um, hopefully you're drinking water enough that uh, you need to use them. 
Um, I do want to encourage you, we're going to have lots and lots of water. The Chamber of Commerce is donating the water for our event. Um, Kiwanis is going to be not only serving lunch, but providing lunch. They have 60 pizzas, 60, 80, 80 pizzas. They have a lot of pizzas coming. No, maybe it's 120. I don't know. It's a lot of pizzas that are coming in waves. And so you'll have an opportunity to eat. If you're lack, if you if you don't eat pizza, if you don't like pizza, uh, I would encourage you bring bring uh, bring something, bring a um, uh, bring a bag lunch or or something along those lines. So porta potties. Uh, this the game truck is new this year. And so it's a video game truck. I expect that that's going to get a lot of uh, a lot of use by uh, by you know some of the uh, middle school uh, uh, youth type uh, uh, kids, uh, some of the younger ones. I, I I don't know. All kids like like uh, like video games, but uh, but that's going to be available there. Um, so health services and community services uh, are going to be in the kind of in the center and uh, health is going to be staffed by nurses and doctors providing uh, screening and uh, uh, answering questions. Um, hopefully uh, we're going to be providing uh, COVID, uh, you know, like at, at home COVID kits and that, that sort of thing at health services. We, I think we have dental supplies are giving out as well there um and all that so and then um community services we have a number of uh community services everything from homeless uh ministries um to uh to the nasa county police department and um there's just there's a good there's a nice long list of community uh outside community groups that have that are planning to come to our event and so um, back here are shoes and clothing. And um, uh, this is a popular place. For, we have more clothes than shoes this year. Um, and this is gonna be a popular place for people uh, to come and get, and get brand new, uh, uh, free clothing and shoes. And so I'm hoping that we get we put them in the hands and on the feet of uh, people who need them and uh, we don't have any leftovers. As uh, now, for instance, Mary is coordinating shoes. And so she has a team of a dozen people or so that she's going to put to work so that they are greeting people and sizing people and offering a shoe that works for them. Um, let them try it on and, and off they go, okay? And so if you're working in shoes, Mary's gonna give you some instruction and uh, uh, it's, it's uh, like I said, it, it, when, when, as we serve, it, it, it might, you know, it's going to be a little bit of work and it's a bit of a humbling thing. And I'm going to measure their feet. Um, but uh, but it's it's a, a great way to uh, uh, to just serve in a practical way. Um, clothing, we have received a large donation of shoes and clothing from uh, Aeropostale and um, Reebok and a number of uh, different brands that are are very nice. What there is not is a huge selection of size. So if I roll in there as a double XL and I want that, there 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 may not be um, there may not be the the selection there. And that's you know we 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 received what we what was given and and we want to move it along. But uh, there there is some limit to sizes. And what we say. At Hope Day is, you know, while supplies last, we we're going to run out of things, hopefully. And, uh, you know, these were given to us to give away. And, uh, you know, we, we it was not a matter of, of uh, 
you know, getting a, a, a perfect uh, range of sizes and everything. Showmobile here is going to have live music playing. It's uh, not necessarily going to be a bunch of worship uh, songs. And that is kind of intentional in the sense that we're expecting that people are going to come from the community who are not necessarily uh, regular churchgoers. And uh, we just want to play some some music that's that's uh, it's just kind of our entertainment area, and uh, we want them to 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 be able to groove a little bit and enjoy what they're hearing and and be like, wow, this is uh, this is legit, and we have some legit musicians who are playing, and uh, uh, I'm I'm thankful for for uh, for what they're doing and. Um, so we have some tables. That's what these ovals are. These are not eggs. These are uh, these are tables and chairs are going to be out here in this general area for lunch and to listen to music. And then as people have meandered here and there and their kids have jumped on uh, inflatables and this and that, uh, and they've done their their carnival games and and they're kind of done. As they begin to work their way out, what we've what we've uh, what we're structuring, and Andrea, you're you're exactly right about the flow of this. We want to make sure that that the flow works, that they can meander all over, and then as they make their way through with connections, we want to ask them, "Did you have a good time today? How, how are you doing? Uh, is there some way we can pray for you?" And uh, some people are like, "Nope, I want I'm leaving." Some people are like, they cannot wait to share something that is meaningful in what they're going through, whether it's needing a job or uh, a health concern or a loved one who's uh, on, on uh, you know, strung out on drugs or alcohol or whatever, and, and, or just a, 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 just a general spiritual disconnect and they're just looking for larger meaning in life or whatever. Uh, there's opportunity to talk with them, to provide some resources uh, to them that would help in, in, uh, in all those things. And so as they make their way through connections, they, uh, they have an opportunity to pick up groceries. Now, what I'll tell you is some people, are, some people need groceries and want groceries. Some people are like, I really kind of wanted to see what this was. And they may not necessarily want uh, or need the uh, the free um, uh, resources. So, but you know what? That's part of the guest of honor principle. We're not like, hey, you should care about this. You should stop. And you know, it, it, some people are going to stop. Some people are not. And and we're going to go with the flow and be loving and merciful and generous and uh, and kind um, and cheerful and all those things. Okay. Um, that's my little overview. I've embellished a little bit. I told you I'd be done uh, inside an hour, and I and I'm I've done that. I do want to open it up and see if there are questions. Uh, Christabel, Andrea, what 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 else do we need to talk about? Um, is there anything in particular that uh, that you want to bring out? Please do. Um, I think you've covered pretty much everything. The one thing I'll say is like, if your area finishes, like sometimes shoes runs out within an hour or two, and we typically have the volunteers in that area break everything down once they're out. So it's not just sitting it there, like an empty table, the intent that says shoes. And it also makes things easier at the end of the day that everything's broken down. So if you have vendors that are leaving in community services or health services that aren't staying till the end, we can break down the areas where they were as they leave, provided we don't have too many people in that area. Um, the other thing is at the end of the day, that tends to be one of the hardest parts. Setup and breakdown are usually the hardest parts just because there's so much physical activity and there's so much movement and things all over the place. So just try to make sure, particularly if you're leading a team, that the area is clean before you leave.
I see uh, James Alba's on the call here. And uh, James, if there's anything you want to say, uh, you're the one that drew up this map and worked on the uh, location of all these things. I appreciate that. Uh, anything in particular we need um, to say? Yeah, I, I would say the biggest thing, uh, probably the most underrated thing that is shown on the map. Uh, be very mindful of the orange lines, guys, because that's going to be where we set up this, uh, the safety um, fences. And I would say that's going to be a pretty um, underrated task as terms of people getting things set up for tents and then stations. We really got to make sure that specifically by the kids zone area that we have those safety fences put up. And, you know, I've tried to draw it pretty much to the exact scale that uh, me and Pastor Dan mapped out when we were on site. Um, I'll obviously be there to direct exactly, you know, what fence line that we we drew up for that for that fence to be put up. But if we can make sure we get that up in a pretty timely fashion once we start, because you know we're gonna have the showmobile coming in, we're gonna have people transporting a bunch of stuff onto the site. But once all the things are there getting that up is going to give us the best vantage point for how we can plan the rest of the map out in terms of getting tents up and getting stations set up. I would say that has to be like the biggest priority once all stuff has arrived is getting the fences up so we can really uh, stay true to the map for the stations. Yep. And uh, so the, the, the fences will go up the tents will go up. We have 25 tents or thereabouts uh, that are gonna that are gonna be put up in the different uh, areas. And we want to provide shade. God did provide shade for a good portion of it in terms or you know a, a, a good uh, uh, zone there in kids. A lot of it is covered with uh, natural shade. Uh, but we want to make sure people are not baking in the sun. Okay, and so again, with the water and hydrating, and uh, we have sunscreen we'll, ha we'll have available at Command Center if you don't have some for yourself, but uh, you know, maybe wear a hat. I increasingly need a hat these days, but uh, you know, make sure you're not caught uh, off guard that way. Do you need an extra tent or you have enough? Um, if, if you, uh, if you have a tent and you want to bring a tent, um, feel free to do that. I, I, it, it is okay to do that. I think you're going to have to keep track of it in the sense that when it's time to put them away, the, the, the team will, will go through and dismantle everything. And we want to make sure that we don't end up inadvertently, uh, uh, absorbing your tent into the into the uh, pile of uh of hope day tents so yeah i would i would definitely say bring it if you want to but make sure you use it for your station don't donate it to someone else <laughs> okay thank yeah. you <laughs> <laughs> the tent the tents have been a scarce uh, resource of ours in the last couple of years. So. Well, they are, except uh, this year we bought 11 or 12 new tents. So uh, we it should be good. Almost half of them are brand new, still in the box. So they should be in great shape. Yeah. Uh, any other questions? All right, well, I can um, don't need to belabor things. I again, I I really appreciate uh, the fact that uh, that you're willing to serve and uh, give of yourself this way. And um, lots of uh, lots of areas uh, uh, for service. Uh, Kiwanis is, uh, as I said, they're going to be providing lunch and that's terrific. And they, they are doing this because they're a service oriented club. Uh, New Hope is, is a member of Kiwanis and uh, they're doing this because 
they appreciate what we do for the community. So they want to pitch in and it's just absolutely fantastic. So they're not, they're not necessarily doing that because they're Christians. Uh, these, I, a lot of my Jewish friends are coming to help and, uh, and I think it's great. Um, so God bless them. And, um, so, all right. Um, anything else? I don't think so. Why don't we, um, why don't we end and, uh, you can, yeah. Is anyone, anyone going to be providing ice? That is a good question, Gina. Uh, the answer is, uh, I've requested it from the fire department. And what's going to happen is there are a couple of fire trucks that are going to be pulling up along Stewart Avenue right by the entrance. And it's going to be right between Stewart Avenue and the kid zone. How's that? So uh, they have big coolers and they're supposed to be giving ice. And uh, what I would say, Gina, is if you uh, ask them, you know, if we need more and we ask for more, right? Uh, they're, they're usually pretty good about that. They did not say that they're going to be there four hours. So, uh, you know, if you're, if, if you, I, I would, I would probably, uh, connect with them before too long. You know what I mean? Like as they arrive, uh, make sure you or someone, uh, from kid zone, uh, connects with them and, and communicates, uh, you know, need for ice. We need ice in the lunch area and, and all that too. Pastor, do you hear me? I see you and I hear you. Okay, one question. Do you think it would be a good idea if I can bring uh, coolers and I can ask for the ice and keep them in my cooler just in case they leave early? Sure, okay. absolutely. Now they're all supposed right. to have coolers with ice, but if you want to bring coolers and, and, um, what we, what we expect is that uh, there will be coolers with ice and cold, cold water at the lunch station. And I have, in, I have asked for people to make the rounds, and we've done this in past years, um, to make the rounds and make sure that uh, the, our volunteers are drinking water. Okay, another question, Pastor. Yep. Uh, is the company who's bringing the machine, are they gonna be providing the flavor for the ice? Well, I, I learned, this is a bit uh, niche for Kids Zone, but I will tell you what I learned. I learned that they were giving us basically enough supplies for 40 ice cones. Okay. Which I thought was a good start. Yeah. Uh, so I, Karen and I were talking today and uh, she jumped on Amazon and uh, I think we have enough uh, that it's going to arrive on Friday enough for about, oh. 200, about 250 plus 40. Plus the flavors? Oh, yeah. All right. Thank you, Pastor. Snow, we're not going to give shaved ice, right? we got to have the flavors. we got to bring the yeah. fun. And that's actually what's great. Drink condensed milk. <laughs> yeah, six, six, um, six flavors uh, we ordered today. And so... Uh, I would say, you know, don't go crazy with it, but but you oh, no. should be able to, you know, uh, provide a lot of a lot of uh, a lot of snow cones. Thank you. All right, Pastor Dan. Yes. Uh, is the fire department cooking hot dogs this year? No. Okay. The fire department, the East Meadow Fire Department, this 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 side of the street is cared for by East Meadow Fire Department. This side of the street is cared for by Westbury, I believe. And uh, we have a member of the Westbury Fire Department, uh, EMT and, and uh, fire department uh, that attends our church. And um, when the East Meadow Fire Department told me that they have an event and they are not able to join us, but that the Westbury Fire Department is covering for them, because they have this event, uh, we reached out to the Westbury Fire Department, and they were gracious enough to uh, to say that they would join us. But they didn't they didn't want to necessarily set up a grill and treat it like their backyard. Okay. 
Uh, we do want to offer that again in, in future years, hopefully, because that's a nice touch. All right, any other, uh, any other questions? I should have, um, I probably should have asked you before, Herman, but Herman, could I ask you to pray to close us and just uh, ask the Lord's blessing on, uh, on our volunteers and on the guests and uh, on this event? God bless my pastor. You hear me well? I do. Okay. So we're going to pray. Dear Lord, we ask you, Lord, to bless this event. Bless everybody else around, dear Lord. Bring everybody together. And this time, we're working. And we ask you, Lord, to be with us. Protect us with your precious blood, dear Lord. And I ask you one more time, bless Pastor Dan, all his team, all these brothers and sisters that we're working together in your honor, Father. And this beautiful day, keep us safe. And be there for us and can we have the courage to stand in front of the, all these people and bring your name and we ask you lord for your precious blood to cover us in the name of jesus i ask you all these things lord thank you Pastor. Amen. And my brother. Uh, my brother German is, is one of the elders at, uh, at uh, Iglesias Genesis, and we've, we've been uh, enjoying working together, and uh, I so appreciate your church uh, uh, participating and really uh, uh, joining in this. We're excited to be able to serve si side by side. Uh, Edge, Edge City Church uh, as well, Shelter Rock. Uh, Spanish service, and um, we're just uh, we're just so thankful for uh, for the opportunity to serve together. So, um, thank you, and uh, and thank God you bless. Too. You too. Good night, everyone. Good night, everybody. Bye bye. Bye bye. See you Saturday. Yep, it'll be yes. good. Have a good night, everybody. Good. Bye-bye. See ya. Bye.